this video, we're going to work with color images using the STF tool. We're going to open three images. Let's change the layout of the three windows. Now we apply an STF auto stretch to each image. As you can see, each image has a very strong dominant color, so much so that the way the images are displayed on the screen is completely incorrect. Why has this happened? Let's zoom in on the STF midtones and shadows adjustments for each image. As we have track view enabled, the STF parameters change as we switch between active images. We can see that the three images all have different STF settings, but in all three, the shadows clipping and midtones parameters are the same in all three RGB channels, and this is a problem in this type of image. These images don't have any color calibration or sky background correction. So, what is the problem here? Let's look at the histograms. When we look at the histograms, we can see that the peaks of the curves representing the sky background level aren't aligned. This image looks orange because the peak of the red channel is brighter, followed by the green. This one is completely green because the sky background in the green channel is much brighter than the other two. And this one is yellow because the peaks in the green and red channels are aligned, but the sky background in the blue channel is much darker. So what's the problem with the STF here? It's that we're doing the same histogram adjustment for all three color channels. To see how this works, we can copy the STF settings over to the histogram transformation window. To do this, we click and drag the New Instance button and drop it on the bottom bar of the Histogram Transformation window. For example, in this image, when we do a single histogram adjustment, we're clipping the blue channel completely and the red and green channels are very bright because the midtones are almost the same as the sky background level. We can see this by looking at each RGB channel separately. The red and the green are very bright and the blue is completely clipped. Remember, we're not really clipping anything because the STF is only changing the values of what we see on the screen. When we look closer at the pixel values using the cursor, they're never zero. To see these images correctly, we need to apply a different histogram adjustment to each color channel. We do this by disabling the Link RGB Channels button and applying the Auto Stretch again. Now the three images look neutral because the STF calculates individual statistics for each of the RGB channels. Now if we transfer the STF settings for this image, for example, we can see that the histogram settings in the blue channel are completely different from the ones in the green and red channels. Each color channel has its own individualized contrast adjustment. That's why the result is as neutral a color image as possible. Whenever we have an image whose sky background hasn't been neutralized, we need to unlink the RGB channels. Here are two reasons why we need to do this. The first is that we need to be able to see where the sky background is so that we can adjust it. In this image, it could be this area here, for example. The second reason is that if the image has gradients, we need to be able to see these properly too. Here we can clearly see a slight magenta tone on the right and a greenish tone on the left. Once we've unlinked the channels, we can neutralize the sky background and apply gradient corrections. Let's carry on calibrating the color of this image. We'll go to the Color Calibration category and select the Background Neutralization tool. We select this area of the sky and set it as the region of interest. 
Then we apply the process to the main view. Now the image is completely blue. This is because the tool has aligned the peaks of the sky background. But we still have the individualized contrast adjustments for each color channel because the STF hasn't changed. The midtones and shadows clipping points in the blue channel are much further to the left than the ones in the red and green channels. So, after we neutralize the sky background, we must always link the RGB channels again and apply the STF again. We're going to carry on calibrating the color of this image and we're going to do it quickly using the Color Calibration tool. We configure the tool by selecting all the stars and making them the white reference. In other words, we select the whole image and set it as the region of interest for the white reference and use the same rectangle of the background as the background reference. Now we apply the process. We've calibrated the color, but again the image doesn't look right as almost everything is black. Remember, it's not actually black. We just need to adjust the way it's displayed on the screen again. So after we've done a color calibration, we need to do an auto stretch again. We need to redo the auto stretch after every color calibration step. We'll come across a common problem if we save this image as a JPEG. We go to File, then Save As, and save the image in JPEG format. We've made a mistake here, and we'll see it when we open the image again. If we go to File Explorer and open the JPEG we've just saved, the image is black. This is because the image we've just saved is actually a linear image. We need to remember that it has an active STF, and we know this because of this green line. These data can't be read from a JPEG file because the bit depth is only 8 bits. If we do a contrast adjustment now, we won't be able to recover any of the data from this image. It's completely posterized. So before we save as a JPEG, we need to stretch the image. We can do the stretch using histogram transformation. We move the midtones first. Let's zoom in a bit. We adjust the midtones and shadows clipping points. And we apply the transformation. And here we have another very common problem. When we stretch the image, it turns completely white. This is because we have two overlapping stretches, one from the histogram transformation and another from the SDF. We're not really saturating the image. All we need to do is disable the STF. Now all we have is the histogram stretch, and we can save this image as a JPEG.